Hi, I am Elias, and I go to Korean Prep. <laughs> this poem is titled, This is an Ode. This is an ode to my father's hands, from the dry skin that clucks around the white nail to the strange material under the nail that never goes away. The fact that my father's, the fact that my dad works with his hands can be vividly seen by his dry, cracked fingers that never manage to get better. The strange softness of his palms that prove to show that somewhere down there is a spot for his family. That stood around the heavy, weighted stress of being a parent that can almost never see what he grew up around. After all, nobody came with him to live a new life. He had no idea what he was doing because he was neglected as a child, forgotten in cars by the people that were supposed to care for him instead of drinking the worries away. From the people that were supposed to accept his decision to migrate all on his own to an entirely new society. How does one manage to start somewhere with no foundation to begin with? To see his struggles put out through his hands have been no easy feat for he is. Never willing to talk about the times that life was so dry and manifested into his skin. Never willing to talk about the times that life was so dark and manifested under his own protection and onto a place that affected him deeply. Never willing to talk about the times that life was so heavy that it cracked his hands in the process. And now, I have to live on with my perfectly soft and fragile hands. That at the end of the day, aren't strong enough to handle what he did, even though they're meant to. My hands are meant for the physical tasks that what my father sacrificed years for. My hands were nails that extend past the shelter that's meant to protect, but my hands aren't meant for that. Instead, my hands are meant to build shelter, not to have it. My hands are meant for to hold the tools of my father's. As much as it hurts to have the words of my nails being too long and pressured into an interview on why my nails are long and why it hurts to simply exist because my nails are not interviewed simply for the fact of wanting to understand. But instead, being a victim of a hate crime, cut against its own will unless I'm willing to fess up talking to my own sister because if I keep my nails, it hurts to them to exist. Because obviously having nails is damaging to a guy, even though I've done da enough damage to myself already because it's that time of the month. For the interview that might finally make its way to my nail, might finally make my nails hurt for even simply existing, even though it hurts to live that way. So yes, Dad, it does hurt to have long nails. Because just like you, Life got so tough that I cracked my fingers. Life got so dry that it's now around my nail in the form of my own skin. Also, you repeatedly banter and bombard me with the fact that this isn't how a man is supposed to be, and that even though this is a man that shouldn't live like this, I'm living. It's just how he expected me to.